I don't remember if I've ever actually given you a tour of our RV, but after three years of complaining that they built an office into the bedroom, but there was no room to set the chair, after three years I figured out that you have to raise the bed. If you raise the bed, there is then room to set the chair. So, this morning I'm sitting in my little office with my computer and my printer and I have somebody's van and trailer right outside my window. An Arizona mountain in the distance. Chemtrails. What's going on out here? Ooh, bright sunshine. Dan and Ron have the fire going. I'm going to make a video this morning. Uh, I'm printing out some comments that I've gotten that I want to answer for you. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Good morning. I'm sitting in that chair I showed you. There's my shower. The vent. This is the bed that's up above my head. So, I wanted to answer some questions for you today that I gotten in comments about living in Mexico. I like answering these questions and um, if at any time you know more about it than I do, please feel free to correct me. Um, I'm not perfect, I just tell you what I think. So I've got uh, questions here on my uh, laptop screen. Oh, did you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that or not, my diesel furnace just kicked on. Um, it's a little warmer today than it's been. It's um, 49 degrees outside at uh, 8.21 in the morning. Uh, here's a comment with uh, some questions that you might find the answers interesting. Hi JC, recent subscriber in California. I have some questions for you. Does mail get delivered to each home where you are in Mexico? Yes, it does. Um, the, the mail uh, delivery system is by uh, a guy on a motorcycle. <laughs> and he comes around and delivers mail whenever he got mail. So the answer to the question, very simply, is yes. However, there are some... Um, irregularities in the system, in my opinion. They, I, I've ordered things and, uh, like from China and um, a, a website called dx.com. You might uh, check that out if you're interested in ordering things from China. I ordered a whole bunch of LED lights from China and the price was very, very good. Anyway, um, you might get a tracking number and find out that it has arrived at the post office and two or three days later you go down to the post office and they dig around and find it in the back corner uh, when you show them your tracking number that it's supposed to be there. Um, my uh, business manager up in Oregon mailed me some new credit cards one time and she put them in the US Postal Service overnight mail. And so from Portland, Oregon to Laredo, Texas, it was overnight. And from Laredo, Texas to Ahihik, it was six weeks. Um, I'm sure they're working to improve that, but that's a true story from about 15 years ago. Would the mail system support a small eBay business? Well, like I said, I don't think I would um, trust the... Uh, regular delivery of the mail to be um, 
uh, a thing that I would want to invest a business in. However, uh, FedEx, UPS, and Estafeta deliver quite regularly where we are. I've had uh, uh, all three of those bring packages to my house, and the service is very good and just as you would expect uh, anywhere else in the world. So uh, if I were starting an eBay business that required um, delivery in Mexico, I would use one of those services rather than the Mexican Postal Service. Speaking of the Postal Service, both in Mexico and in the United States, a personal note, um, I consider one of my greatest accomplishments to n have not seen a piece of mail with my name on it for almost 20 years. Uh, I have a person who takes care of that. Can utility bills be paid automatically or online? Yes. Um, when we are traveling in the United States, uh, I pay my telephone bill, that's um, Telmex in Mexico, online. And the utility bills, um, the electric, you can pay online. I don't do that. I actually go and pay in advance. Um, I went to the telephone company one time a few years ago uh, because we were going to be gone for three months uh, out of Mexico into the United States and I wanted to make sure that my telephone didn't get cut off so I went to the telephone company and I said um, can I uh, pay in advance? And the answer was no you can't pay in advance. So, well, we're going to be gone for about three months, and how do I do this? Um, if I can't pay in advance, then um, how am I going to pay the bill? And she says, well, you could make a deposit. Uh, communication problem. <laughs> you can make a deposit for as much as you want in advance, but you can't pay in advance because they don't know how much the bill is going to be. Anyway, yes, you can pay your bills online. Um, can't pay the gas bill online because a truck comes. But last year when we were leaving um, and wanted to fill up the gas tank so that the uh, renter would start out with a full propane tank, uh, I called my gas guy and I said, hey, um, I, I need your gas today. And he said, I can't come today, uh, but I'll come and fill it up tomorrow. I said, well, I'm leaving early in the morning. He said, oh, don't worry about it, Jerry. Um, pay me when you get back. I said, I'm not coming back for <laughs> four months. <laughs> he said, don't worry about it. Pay me when you get back. And that's what happened. It was about uh, 3,000 pesos, and I paid him when I got back. Um, Mexico is nice that way. If getting Social Security in the United States, do you file taxes in both countries? If you don't make any money in Mexico, you don't have to file taxes in Mexico. If you do earn money in Mexico, you have to pay taxes in Mexico. Um, the United States IRS requires you to pay taxes no matter where you are in the world. Um, so if you do owe taxes on your Social Security, uh, and you wouldn't unless you have other income, but I'm not a tax attorney. Um, you have to pay and file U.S. Um, tax returns no matter where you happen to be living in the world. How much is car insurance? Well, the liability for my BMW is about um, 2,800 pesos for six months, which is like $140, so it'd be about $300 U.S. dollars a year for liability. Um, and the liability on my van, um, because it's, well, the liability on the BMW is a little more because it's a sports car. And 
I guess people with sports cars drive crazy. Uh, the reliability on the van is less than that. It's about $240 a year for liability only. A comprehensive, of course, depends on your car and my, my old van. I don't carry comprehensive on it. Um, the comprehensive depends on the value of your car. So if you got my old van or you got a brand new Mercedes, it doesn't make it, it doesn't make any sense for me to say how much your, your car insurance is. Can you get a health care plan on a tourist visa? Yes, you can, but you can't get uh, Mexican government insurance like Seguro Popular or um, IMSS. On a tourist visa, you can get private plans, and uh, they're very good. I don't have one because I'm a permanent resident and I have IMSS in Mexico. And I have Medicare and a supplement in the United States, so I don't require a private plan in Mexico. Uh, but yes, you can get it as a tourist. Well, that's the end of that guy's questions, but I have, uh, I have some statements I would like to address. They're not really questions. One of them, and I get this quite often, I would not live in Mexico because I could not have my gun. There's a lot of misinformation out there about guns. Uh, you can have a gun for uh, self-protection on your property in Mexico, and I believe, uh, I'm not positive about this, but I believe up to or less than 38 caliber. Um, a person who... Uh, does know about it in an authoritative way left me a comment and I want to read his comment about that. Mexico has enshrined in law the right for its citizens and legal residents to own firearms for self-defense in their registered addresses. I believe in the Western Hemisphere only the United States and Mexico have this right within their constitutions. Uh, Article 2 in the U.S. Constitution and respectively Article 10 in the Mexican Constitution. In all other countries of the continent, owning a firearm is a privilege, not a right, which can be revoked at the whim of the authorities. So, uh, you can have and own guns in Mexico. Certainly, uh, besides um, guns for self-protection, there is hunting in Mexico. There are duck hunters and quail hunters and people who use shotguns and deer hunters and um, the, 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 the idea that you cannot legally own a gun in Mexico is wrong. Do not take that to think that you, as a non-Mexican, can bring a gun through customs without a huge amount of paperwork. And that would be for hunting only, not for self-protection. Here's another one. You can't own property in Mexico unless you're a Mexican citizen. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. In the... I think it was the Constitution of Mexico rewritten in 1917 or 18. Um, they made it difficult because Mexico had been attacked so many times in history for non-Mexicans to own property in Mexico. And they did it as a self-protection measure so that foreign interests wouldn't come and buy up all of the choice spots. Uh, and the choice spots were along the Mexican coasts. So the law was that you couldn't own property within 50 or 60 kilometers of the ocean, beaches. Well, that law has been changed over the years, and it's no longer um, a law that's used to prohibit foreigners from buying property in Mexico. 
there is a zone. It's called the restricted zone, and it is within 50 or 60 kilometers of the ocean. And I think 100 kilometers of the border of Mexico, foreigners cannot hold title to property by direct deed. What needs to happen, and what happens very easily, is that a Mexican bank buys the property and holds the title, and you get a, I think it's a 50-year lease, and that gives you all the rights of property ownership. It passes to your heirs if you should die. Um, you can sell it to anybody, even another foreigner. It gives you all the rights of property ownership. You just can't hold the title. Uh, I am not a real estate professional, nor am I a, a real estate attorney, but I think that's kind of similar to having a trust deed in the United States. If you have a mortgage, you are not holding the title to your property. <laughs> the bank is holding the title to your property, and you don't get the title until you pay. So uh, that's kind of similar. Uh, outside, or actually inside of the country, uh, away from the restricted zone, any person of any citizenship can buy Mexican property and hold it by direct deed. And there's no restriction on how much property you can buy or how many properties you can buy. I own two properties in Mexico. I am not a Mexican citizen. I have direct deeds. The deeds are five or six pages long in Spanish. My, excuse me, my children are listed as heirs to the property should I uh, be deceased. Um, the idea that you can't own property in Mexico unless you're a Mexican citizen is just wrong. Well, that's enough for today. And if you have questions about living or retiring in Mexico, I'd be happy to address them. Uh, or if you have uh, questions about anything else, I actually have another business card. It's titled Free Opinions, and they're worth every penny you pay. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.